quarantine confession. Even I sometimes get tired of meat. So I will make a dish every now and then that is meatless. And what I'll do is eggplant. And thanks to Bonza, I can have adequate protein with my meatless pasta dish because one serving has 23 grams of protein and eight grams of fiber. This is a win-win situation for me. So I was fortunate enough last summer to be in Monteverdi, Tuscany with, of course, David and Lynn Easton and Dean Andrews. We had a marvelous time at Monteverdi, Tuscany, and we took a cooking class with their chef, uh, Chef Giancarla, and she introduced us to this tomato base that she uses all the time, and we were able to get this off of Amazon, and that's what we're gonna use for this dish. And fortunately enough, while we were at Monteverdi, right over the hill is this beautiful garden called La Foce, and we got some olive oil from there. So I'm gonna cook this dish with some La Foce olive oil. But before we get started, I wanna talk about why it's important to have enough protein per meal. So let's go. So real quick, here's why protein is so important for us. Protein is essential for life. It's the building blocks for all the cells in our body. We can't store protein. We can store fat as fat. We can store carbs as glycogen. We can't store protein. It gets used and it gets oxidized or stored as fat, but it's not protein when it's stored. So that's why it's important to keep, to have a meal with protein a few times a day. It's important to know that not all proteins are treated the same. There's complete proteins, which are mostly animal products, and then there are incomplete proteins. Complete proteins will be like your meat, chicken, eggs, milk, and they're complete because they contain all nine essential amino acids. Incomplete proteins like your rice, your oatmeal, your beans, these have amino acids in them, but they don't have all nine essential in them. So that's why people do pair rice and beans so you can make a complete protein out of them. Leucine is a very, very important amino acid if not the most important amino acid because you need a threshold of leucine in order for muscle protein synthesis to occur. This threshold is 2.5 grams approximately. So if you aren't eating animal products, this is important to know because if you don't hit that threshold, your body isn't gonna take full advantage of muscle protein synthesis. Whether your goal is to lose weight, gain weight, gain muscle, lose fat, you're going to know, need to know this because it's important to keep your metabolism going. Here's a comparison of an animal product with protein versus a plant-based product with protein. Both equally are complete proteins, but let's compare deep down how much of each you will need to meet this threshold. Grilled chicken, skinless, six ounces is about 180 calories, has about 36 grams of protein, and this will meet your 2.5 grams of leucine for that meal to, to initiate muscle protein synthesis. There's zero carbs in that. Quinoa, another complete protein, a great source of it as well. You would need five cups of cooked quinoa, which is 1,100 calories, 41 grams of protein to meet that 2.5 grams of leucine. That's 197 grams of carbs. That's a lot. You see why animal products are so important for us to, to reach this? And if you're having trouble putting on muscle, this could be the reason. Now time for the exciting stuff. Let's go. Lunch for two is served. 